Hi, I'm Aidan from Reincubate. In this video, I'm going to guide you through all of the options if you've lost your screen time passcode and need to remove it from your iPhone, iPad or Mac. I'm going to go through all of the different approaches, including Apple's official guidance, and you'll see I've included links to these in the description below. First of all, you might be aware that Apple's long-standing guidance for lost passcodes is to erase and reset your iOS device. The relevant support article on their site is HT204396, and they say, if you can't remember a restrictions passcode that you set on a previous version of iOS or iPadOS, or you forgot your screen time passcode, you need to erase your device. Then set it up as a new device to remove the passcode. Restoring your device from a backup won't remove your passcode. Well, that's not the only problem. There's a share across devices option in screen time, and if that's set, you might find you erase and reset your device only for an unknown screen time passcode to reappear later once you've finished setting it up. That sucks. So let's assume you don't want to remove your passcode by erasing all of your data. What can you do if your data is worth more than that to you? There are a few options. One is the easy way, whereas the others are less likely to work. I'm going to start with the easy way, and that's by using iPhone Backup Extractor. It's a piece of software that I've been building and updating for the last 12 years. It can do a bunch of helpful things, including removing screen time passcodes. As there's a small cost to do this, I'm also going to show you the other options. These are free, but they're limited and fiddly. You'll see in this video's description that I've linked the time codes for each section, so you can easily skip ahead or back to the sections you want to check first. How to remove a screen time passcode with iPhone Backup Extractor. Basically, you connect your iPhone or iPad to your Mac or PC, run iPhone Backup Extractor, and it'll remove the passcode for you without the need to erase your phone. Firstly, you'll need to download it. You can get iPhone Backup Extractor from reincubate.com slash iPhone dash backup dash extractor. And you'll see that link on the screen now and in the description below. On Windows, you can double click on the downloaded file to install it, and on macOS you drag it into your Applications folder before you run it. Once iPhone Backup Extractor is running, you'll see your device shown on the left side of the app. Click it, and you'll see it shows a picture of your device along with a set of options including Screen Time Passcode. Click that, and the Screen Time and Parental Restrictions Passcode Recovery Wizard will pop up. If you've not activated your copy of iPhone Backup Extractor, It'll ask you to activate at this point. We have a money back promise if it doesn't work for you. The wizard will prompt you to temporarily disable Apple's Find My service on your iPhone. Under Settings, your iCloud account name, Find My, and Find My iPhone. You'll need your Apple ID password to do this, but there's no need to remove your device from your iCloud account. Once the process is completed, you'll be able to re-enable it. With that done, click the Let's Start button on the wizard an iPhone Backup Extractor will work its magic. Your iPhone or iPad will restart, and once it's finished, it'll no longer have a screen time passcode enabled. Let's talk about the other options for recovery from an unknown screen time passcode. Firstly, you might be curious whether it's possible to find out what the screen time passcode is, to recover it rather than just removing it. That's possible for some versions of iOS, 1 through 4 and 7 through 12. However, with iOS 5, 6, and 13, only removal is possible. iPhone Backup Extractor can do this removal or recovery on all of those versions, and we've also got a guide on how to do this manually, linked below. Beware that going it alone without iPhone Backup Extractor is quite a fiddly technical process. Oh, and screen time was called parental restrictions on iOS 11 and below, but it's pretty much the same thing. Another approach for removing your screen time passcode is to restore your device with an iTunes or iCloud backup. Apple says this won't work, but it will in some cases. For it to work, the following need to be true. You have a recent encrypted backup taken prior to screen time being enabled. Family sharing isn't enabled on your iCloud account and the account isn't marked as being under 13 years old. Share across devices isn't enabled in your iCloud settings and Account changes isn't set to not allowed under screen time's content and privacy restrictions. So it's pretty limited. However, if those things are all okay, the process is like this. First, turn off Find My iPhone under Settings, your iCloud account name, Find My, Find My iPhone. Connect your device to iTunes or Finder with its USB cable and click Restore iPhone. 
This will trigger your computer downloading the latest firmware for your phone, if you don't already have it, before erasing it and updating it. It's really important that you have a recent backup before doing this. Once the firmware upgrade is completed, you'll be asked to choose a backup to restore from. Select the backup you made earlier and restore it. Once it's restored, your phone will be how it was at the time of the backup, but without the screen time passcode. There's another approach that Apple have talked about since the release of iOS 13.4.1. Essentially, if you set up screen time and added a passcode after you upgraded your device, it may have prompted you to enable reset of your password using iCloud. Not all devices offer this option during setup, but some do. If you were offered this during setup and you enabled it, there'll be an option on your device under Settings, Screen Time, Change Screen Time Passcode. Apple cover this in their Knowledge Base article HT211021. Finally, there's another way. Since 2008, I've spent most of my time finding neat ways to help people with problems like these, and we've got a number of techniques that aren't even in iPhone Backup Extractor. If you can't disable Find My because account changes are marked as not allowed under Screen Time's content and privacy restrictions, we have a manual workaround for you. Similarly, if you've got family sharing issues or you set the passcode for your child on an account where they're marked as being under 13, we can help. If you're totally stuck, reach out to us, either with a live chat on our site or through support at reincubate.com. We'd love to help you and may be able to set up a screen share to guide you through it. Don't erase your phone. In the meantime, help us help you by hitting subscribe below. And thanks for watching.